Hello, happy Thursday, everyone. Happy almost the weekend. How's it going? We've got four teams in already. Anglerfish Golf. Oh, a little reference to Anglerfish Gate. Uh, yes, yes, that's my bad. Thankfully, both of our top teams did answer Anglerfish. So didn't make didn't didn't change the final result in the end but yeah whoops that was on me <laughs> football fish is a type of anglerfish which considering i did marine biology at university really should have got that one right and okay that's five of our teams in already how's everyone doing ready for some fast thinking for think fast that is the name of our Thursday quiz. Just going to wait for one or two more people to get in. Well, it's only one minute past the start time. And now, okay, everyone is, everyone's getting in now. Good, good, good. All right. So, you know how it works. The faster you answer, the more points you get. And uh, five rounds. Well, you know, put in order. Not kind of a, just a question and welcome to the party got in late golf uh, we'll give anyone who is on stream now a couple of minutes to join in this is a speedy quiz but we don't want to be so speedy that people can't play along uh, so if you are watching the stream but not you don't see your name on screen yet ghost duster hey there ghost duster Where's Ghost Roaster? Um, yeah, you can see there's a seven-digit pin. No problem. Uh, seven-digit pin at the top. Uh, Matt's are just renaming. Um, so you just go onto Kahoot.it, or if you have the Kahoot app already on your phone, enter that seven-digit game pin, and uh, you can play along. If you are watching now and in the process, oh, yes. I like it. Appreciate that. Uh, that's the that's the kind of pun work we need you in here for, Matt. Um, but yeah, if you are watching and you're you, you're not in yet, uh, that game pin will stay on the screen. It will go down to the bottom right once we move past this opening slide, and uh, you'll be able to join in at any time. Obviously, you have an advantage getting in from the start, but. You know, in my experience, even if you miss the first one or two questions, this it's still possible to catch up. Not impossible. You know, sometimes people will get off to great early leads and then people will catch them. So collaborating on the puns, I respect it. Well, there's eight people in, so that's enough for us to maybe start going through the questions. Anyone who is watching the stream right now, you want to join in, yeah, you can you can jump in at any point even if you're just there for the last question all right so three two one here we go it's the 20th of may 2021 edition of think fast so same rules as always fast answers equal more points and as usual we'll be kicking things off with our headlines round if you ever watched Have I Got News For You, you get the gist of how this one works. Uh, we've selected five headlines from around the web from the last couple of days, and uh, we've blocked out some of the text. You just need to choose the correct word or phrase to fill in the blank from each headline. So pretty simple concept. Let's have a look at the first headline. This one comes from the Associated Press. And a 111-year-old Australian recommends eating chicken brains, Vegemite, crocodile, or meat pie and ketchup. We can see the answers flying in. People got some opinions about Australians, and uh, most of them Vegemite-related. The answer was chicken brains. Only one person going for that. Not tech-savvy. Oh, so a last-minute edition. Uh, not tech savvy, but definitely answer savvy. Good start there. The only player to pick up points there. Our next headline comes from Sky News. 
Chinese safari park, sincerely sorry for not telling public blank. Is that tortoise had been dead for weeks. Zebra was in fact a donkey. Monkeys tested positive for COVID or escaped leopards on the loose. So which of those fairly important announcements did a Chinese safari park not make? And I think some people have seen this story because more than half of you got the correct answer there. Escaped leopards on the loose. So this is where speed comes into play. Who answered the fastest? It was Angler Fishkoff. Uh, but butts in second, a bottle of beer in third. Not tech savvy, hanging on uh, in the top five though. Next from Sky News. Gwyneth Paltrow's company sued after man claims a vagina scented candle poisonous, exploded, too sexy, or odorless. Which of these could be the case? And people kind of uh, divided whether it be exploded or odorless. I mean, it would be kind of a ripoff if a vagina scented candle was, was odorless. Surely the main selling point is the scent. But uh, no, it, it, it exploded apparently. That's just the thing candles can do. No, uh, Angler Fishkoff is hanging on into first place, but Speedy, Shamebot 3000, and Frank all climbing the ranks there. Uh, our next question comes from the Indian Express. Uh, two held for cheating COVID patients by delivering blank instead of oxygen cylinders. So that fire extinguishers old water heaters, soda stream cartridges, or used mortar shells. So, which of these were people? Okay, and uh, oh, most people were going for soda stream cartridges there, um, but fire extinguishers was the answer. I mean, that could cause a disaster if you actually tried to use it, but, but climbing into a pole position there, not tech savvy also, uh, they're not taking it lying down back into third place. All right, and our final headline comes from Marie Claire. My blank dependency controlled my life. Is that Lululemon, kombucha, tarot card, or Instagram? And uh, all of those seems equally plausible to you guys. A tarot card was the answer there. And that puts Ghost Duster into the top five. Welcome to the top five, Ghost Duster. Uh, but butts with a pretty strong lead heading into the second round. Next up, we've got the witch element. Pick the correct element symbol from the description. So for those sciencey among you, atomic number 19, this soft, silvery, and highly reactive alkali metal can be added to your diet with bananas. Is that P, K, M, G, or C, A? Oh, do we leave a tiny bit of letter peeking out? Little, little bit of a hint for you. Apparently, didn't give people too much of a hint. Uh, yeah, so P, K, M, G, or C, A, atomic number 19, soft, silvery, highly reactive metal. Yeah, that's K for potassium. So it was not phosphorus, magnesium, or calcium. It was potassium. And anglerfish goth back on top. Okay, our next element. Uh, atomic number 80, this is the only transition metal which is a liquid at room temperature. So A, G, G, A, P, B, or S, N. We've got little, little pictures of samples of the elements in question. There's a little extra visual helper. Yes, it's a tricky one because it's one of those ones where the letters don't match up with the uh, the English name of the element. So AG, mercury or quicksilver, uh, GA, gallium, PB, lead, SN, tin. 
Yes, Mercury is a liquid at room temperature. Speedy climbing into second place there. Very, just a, just a hair behind Anglerfish Golf. And Frank into fourth. Our third element, atomic number 92. This actinoid, named for the seventh planet, was the fissile component of the little boy bomb. Is that P-U, N-P, U, or P-T? And there we have, that won't be a pure sample, surely? I don't know. I don't know how that works, to be honest. Not a nuclear scientist, in case you hadn't noticed. All right, so uh, let's see. Uh, most people were going for plutonium. Plutonium was in uh, Fat Man, but uranium was in Little Boy. Um, and Uranus, the seventh planet. Butt butts, top of the table. He's like, it's trading places between butt butts and anglerfish at the moment. Ghost Duster back in the top five. AG is silver. Oh, Mercury is HG. Ah, oh, my bad. Uh, atomic, I'm, I'm really messing up on science recently. Uh, 33, this metalloid was known in antiquity as the king of poisons. SB, SI, AT, and AS. Uh, I think that was a typo. Uh, no typo in this one, though. SB, SI, AT, or AS. Should have gone through and double checked. Yes, AS is arsenic, the king of poisons. Known for poisoning nobility back in the day. Frank in second place. And our next one. Final element, atomic number seven. This colorless, odorless gas makes up most of the Earth's atmosphere. Is that O, C, H, or N? It'd be pretty bad if I made a typo on one of the single letter symbols. I think I've avoided it, though. And that is N for nitrogen makes up about 70%, 78% of Earth's atmosphere, right? Am I right? I might be wrong. Could be on the other side of 80. I know it's around about 80, a couple of degrees one way or the other. But but still in the lead, anglerfish uh, right behind in second place and got in the late in third. Speedy and Frank rounding out the top five. And we are on to our put in order round, which also is a bit sciencey this week. Uh, we didn't coordinate this. This is, I just thought of a bunch of stuff. Uh, and uh, in this case, it's SI prefixes. We're going to put them in order from smallest to largest. So for example, <clears throat> uh, micro is smaller than milli. So we see milliliters there in the picture. If you had the symbol for micro, or actually just the, we've actually used the words, not the symbols. Um, so if you saw the word micro and the word mini, micro would come before mini. We're going from smallest to largest. So it's left to right or top to bottom, depending on how it displays on your device. Um, let's have a look at the four prefixes. We're going, remember, from smallest to largest. So we've got Pico, Hecto, Zepto, and Yotta. These are our prefixes. One in already. Pico de Gaia. I just can't I can't stop thinking it when I see Pico. These are these are among the less commonly used uh, metric prefixes. Metric and SI not exactly the same thing, although SI is metric. Um, what does SI stand for? Oh, no one getting this one. This was a tough one. Pico chew. Oh, cute. Um, let's see. Zepto. Teeny, teeny, tiny. We're talking like. 
uh, r- real, real like smaller than smaller than some molecules. I don't know. Probably even I. Don't, I can't, I should have looked at like what would be a thing that exists at each scale. Zepto, real small. Pico, small. Um, Pico is probably the one you're most likely to have heard in just day to day use. Hecto um, is like a hundred of something, I think. And Yotta is like super, super big. So we'll probably be getting Yotta Byte HD drives soon or storage drives. My brain, I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> Okay, so name that show, name the TV show uh, as fast as you can, as more members, uh, more cast members are gradually revealed. So we've done this like reveal one clue at a time, a couple of times before. We'll start off with one uh, clue, in this case, one cast member from a TV show, and we will reveal a total of five over like the first 30 seconds of the minute. Um, And uh, each successive cast member will be a bit bigger of a hint. It will get a bit easier um, with each cast member you wait to see revealed. Of course, the fewer cast members you make your guess on, the more points you get. But the longer you wait, the more likely you are to actually get the right answer. Uh, and as always, it's the type in the answer round. Beware the dreaded typo. <laughs> it always gets someone. Always. I think autocorrect is a bastard. So in the first video, we can see our first cast member is Andre Brower. Brower. Uh, second is Joe Lotrulio. Then, oh, people guessing already. Next, Stephanie Beatriz. So some people are feeling pretty confident. We've got three guesses in on just the first few. Your videos are probably a few seconds ahead of mine, though. Terry Cruz. And then the last to be revealed, Andy Samberg. So you have the remaining 30 seconds of the minute, probably a bit less because of my speaking speed and reading speed, uh, to guess what TV show has Andre Brower, Joe Lotrulio, Stephanie Beatriz, Terry Crews, and Andy Samberg. Be aware, the people at the bottom of the list probably have the largest roles on the show because... Uh, we're going biggest clue is the last one revealed and p- guesses all over the place there um but oh thank goodness i included both ways of inputting the answer uh, because people were spread out between number input and uh text input there uh, yeah about half of our players correctly getting a brooklyn 99 was the tv show no change in the top five though uh, other than Two, three, and four, all moving closer in points to first place. All right. Then number two, we've got Alison Bree. Well, people guessing early. Uh, Alison Bree's in a lot of TV shows, guys. Elizabeth Moss. January Jones. Now people guessing with a bit more information. Christina Hendricks. And uh, finally, John Ham. All right, so get those guesses in. So, uh, so both times we've had some some early guesses. Let's see if any of the of them are like early and correct enough to just get way more points than other correct guesses. And, oh no, Bandman. Oh no, the old autocorrect got at least one person. Madman, four guesses for community. People really wanted to get those uh, those speedy guesses in. Madman was the answer, I'm afraid. And that brings a not tech savvy back into the top five. Okay, our third TV show. Uh, Herb Edelman. Next up is Estelle Getty.
Rue McClanahan. No early guesses this time around. B. Arthur. I assume we're going to start getting guesses at, at that one. And uh, finally, Betty White. This, I think this is one where, unless you're older than me, probably, you're gonna, you probably had to wait until the final two to get your guess. But that final two probably made it quite gettable for a lot of you. Uh, let's see how people did, though. And let's see. Yes, it was the Golden Girls. We accepted with or without the, but everyone just went without the. Okay, so seven of you got the correct answer there. Um, and not tech savvy climbing. Frank in the top five now as well. But but but's holding on to the lead. Anglerfish Goff uh, maintaining pace. Both the Van Goffs maintaining pace, waiting, waiting in the wings to strike. Okay, next up. Uh, number four. Let's see our first cast member. It's Caleb McLaughlin. Next up, Noah Schnapp. Third cast member is Gaten Matarazzo. We've got a guess in now. Next, Finn Wolfhard. And finally, Millie Bobby Brown. And there the answers start flooding in with the breakout star of the show. Be careful. Check check that uh, autocorrect has not changed a perfectly valid word before you hit enter. I don't know when they started doing that to autocorrect, when they decided you to change things from one correct word to a different one. But yes, Stranger Things was the answer. Seven of you, again, correctly guessing that. Um, and that also mixes things up at the bottom of the top five. Speedy and Bottle of Beer coming up. Um, but all of our top three gaining points and maintaining a position. All right, number five. Chris Parnell. Oh, that's an early guess there. Chris Parnell also in a lot of stuff, guys. Uh, Rip Torn. Jack McBrayer. Alec Baldwin. Okay, and more cautious guesses starting to come in now. And finally, Tina Fey should be the one that confirms your suspicions if you had any. Careful of typos as always, but we can see when the, that final cast member was revealed, all the answers started coming in. I think some people probably had suspicions, had it ready to go, and were just waiting to hit submit when they saw that final one. Oh, and the typo, the typo, no. Uh, yeah, 30 Rock, we accepted number or text, but everyone went number there. Uh, Archer, yeah, that's a reasonable guess. I think there's probably some overlap there. But, uh, but, but, yeah, Chris Pinell certainly is in Archer. Um, is still in first place after that round. Uh, but, you know, it's a fairly narrow first place, and we have the uh, the either or rounds, which really just can throw things for a loop for leaders uh, in those final five questions this week vegetable or villain? So, is this a variety of tomato or a Captain Underpants villain? We can see there someone has uh, illustrated some uh, tomato varieties uh, Bush Goliath, Beef Master, Bradley, Big Boy. I love this little drawing. Um, but yeah, you need to guess uh, of these five names that we're about to reveal. Sorry, my hand was not on camera. Uh, are they a variety of tomato or a villain from the children's series Captain Underpants? So 
So here we go. Tomato or villain. Banana legs. Is that a tomato or a Captain Underpants villain? And <laughs> it's a tomato. Most of you went for villain, but it is a type of tomato. You can see like a climbing yellow variety. So that puts Not Tech Savvy up into fourth place based on one question. That's quite the jump. Next up on Tomato or Villain, Big Melvin. Is that a tomato or a Captain Underpants villain? I can see these answers coming in pretty quick. Speed. This is definitely a speed round. Two thirds of you correctly getting that it is a Captain Underpants villain. Anglerfish Goff regaining the top spots uh, by a scant 200 points. Uh, and Shane Bots in entering the top five. Next up for Tomato or Villain, Mr. Ugly. A type of tomato or a Captain Underpants villain. And it's pretty much a 50 50 split, but the answer was tomato. Let's see who got it. Anglerfish extending their lead, and Shane Pot, Shane Bot cementing his position in the top five. Next up in Tomato or Villain, Martian Giant. People guessing this one very quickly. People feeling extra confident on this or just really trying to get those speed points. Again, a 50-50 split. Um, and it was a Tomato this time. Not actually from Mars, I don't think. Shamebot climbing into third, Speedy into the top five. Really, just coming out of uh, out of nowhere at the last minute for a podium finish, it looks like. And finally, tomato or villain, camo flush. Is that tomato or a villain? And most of you correctly guessing there that it was in fact a cat and underpants villain, flush like toilet, not flush like a subtle coloration. And so thanks for playing, guys. Our next quiz is the Monday evening quiz. That's going to be at 8 p.m. Uh, London time, which makes it like 9, I think, for our players uh, on the continent in the Netherlands and Germany. Uh, and that's 2 p.m. local time here in uh, the central time zone of the United States, where we're currently located. But let's reveal the podium Captain Fisherman's Pants. Shamebot 3000 coming out of nowhere for a third place finish. But Butts, uh, after a back and forth all game long finish in second place with 9,777 points. It's Anglerfish Goff in the in the gold place position. And we had uh, Goff in late and Speedy rounding out the top five. Congratulations to all of our players, but especially our podium finishers, and especially, especially Anglerfish Goff uh, dominating the game, as she so often does. And uh, great job. We'll be back here at the same time next week for another round of Think Fast. Uh, tell your friends. It's free. It's fast. It's a lot of fun. And also tell them about the Monday quiz. It's not free, and it's not fast, but it's also a lot of fun. All right. Thanks for playing, guys. See you on Monday. See you next Thursday. Have a good weekend. Bye.